We are here at the so-called focus stand of Bowman's culture, and that's different than your normal booth, in fact. This second stand, this focus stand, is really concentrating on the works of Rhoda that directly come from the gates of hell, which was supposed to be the entrance way for a museum of decorative arts. So although Rodin modelled it in its completion, it was never actually used because the museum never got built. How have you come to this collection, in fact? Well, so each of the pieces that we show here are in some way related to this sculpture, The Gates of Hell. Yeah. So, for instance, if we start over here, you can see, if you scan round the booth, you'll see there's a selection of different sculptures, and all these sculptures are works that in some way either were inspired by or come directly from this monumental sculpture. And apparently you had already quite some attention of the press. Mm -hmm. I think there's always going to be attention for the most expensive works and certainly the rarest works. And uh, this piece here is Rodin's famous thinker. And it's one of only eight lifetime casts. It varies very much the, the star of our stand um, and has received a lot of publicity. Um, it's priced at seven and a half million euros. So this one is already spectacular? Yes. But it will not be the only one? No, absolutely. Uh, there are two other pieces that are particularly stand out. The first is the sculpture of the shade uh, by Rhoda, which is the piece that's right at the top of the gates of hell. Yeah. And in fact, it's the same figure, and he just turns it two different ways to create that, those three figures right at the top. And the other one is the sculpture of Eve, which is, was originally designed to go to the right-hand side of the whole monument. Mm. And we have that here as well. Okay. 